The stay home, stay safe order is now officially extended through the end of this month. It was an announcement that many were expecting, but not all Michigan lawmakers voted in favor of it. Our Ryan Cummings joins us live in Grand Rapids to explain why. Ryan? Derek and Annie, the new order expires on May 1st, but some state lawmakers say it is hurting businesses who may have to close for good. Now is not the time to pull back at all. It is the time to intensify. On Thursday, Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced her executive order will extend through April 30th. This doesn't mean that everything's going to go back to normal on the 30th. However, we do know for the next three weeks we have to take these important actions. There are new rules for companies to limit exposure to others, and she also wants big box stores to close certain sections like flooring, garden centers, and plant nurseries. That news caused a last-minute surge to stores like Lowe's, where people waited in line for nearly an hour to get things like paint. If you're not buying food or medicine or other essential items, you should not be going to the store. Some state lawmakers say the extension is hurting businesses, especially the ones who can safely abide by social distancing guidelines like landscapers and greenhouses. Big box stores like Home Depot had been allowed to sell plants until the governor's new request on Thursday. But local companies without that same opportunity could now go bankrupt. It's just not practical. State Representative Steve Johnson voted against the governor's extension. He told Fox 17 he's received more calls for constituents on this issue than any other during his time in office. Get away from essential and not essential because every job is really essential. And let's talk about safety. What can we do safely? You know, you talk about people that are working outside like landscapers by themselves. Well, they can do that safely. He and other lawmakers tell us they are tired of what they say are double standards, like crews being able to work at public parks as captured in these viewer photos. But people like local home builders cannot build houses. Johnson and others agree and hope that Michigan businesses can safely open and do so soon. They're struggling. They've got bills to pay. They've got to put food on the table. They've got mortgages to pay. And, and the governor's taking away their livelihood, uh, taking away their source of income. And, and it's time to, to fix that. If they can work safely, it it's just makes sense to get them back to work. Now, there are other some key issues that the governor addressed today, including the creation of the Michigan Coronavirus Task Force on Racial Disparities, noting that 14 percent of the state is African-American, but more than 40 percent of COVID deaths here are black people. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist will be chairing the task force to address racial inequalities during the crisis. Whitmer is also ordering big stores to limit customers to four per 1,000 square feet, and some smaller places have to reduce the foot traffic as well to 25% of their total occupancy limit. You can still go to grocery stores, which do have to regulate the six-foot distance with markers, and you're still free to go to parks and outdoors and walk around, maybe go kayaking, as long as you're doing the six feet distancing from everybody else. If you would like to read the full order, you can head online to fox17online.com. And remember, if you do violate this order, like being in a large gathering or possibly operating a non-essential business, you could be fined or face jail time.